What's going on you guys? Welcome to another Sundays with Jesse. I've got my coffee in hand and it is a nice ice cold caramel iced coffee with cream and sugar. Yeah, that's a whole lot of sugar in this thing. I probably should not be doing that much sugar, but it is my favorite coffee beverage and I'm excited to be chatting with you guys today about my 3D printing journey. So if you're not familiar, this is sort of my Sunday video format where I just kind of chat with you guys about things that I'm working on or just random things that's going through my mind. One of the big things is I'm getting very close to hitting 100,000 subscribers, so thank you everybody that's tuning in and watching my videos. It's an absolutely wild, incredible journey, all depending on how the YouTube gods smile down upon the, uh, this could be, you know, any day now, it could be two months from now, it could be six months from now. You never know how this thing's gonna work out. So I wanna talk with you guys about my evolution within 3D printing and where I've started a handful of years ago to where I'm at now. Yeah! So back in October of 2014, I picked up this guy here. This is a MakerBot Mini. This thing was my very first 3D printer. It was a very expensive 3D printer, clocking in at, I believe, under $1,500. The build volume is super small. This thing prints incredibly loud. And yeah, I was absolutely in love with it. It was my first jump into this arena. Before this, I had been doing Pepecura files and uh, working with Pepecura files and building props that way and was so excited to get in on the 3D printing scene and was so excited when this came around. One of the very first prints that I still have to this day is this Judge Dread badge. If I flip it over on the back, thankfully I didn't paint over this, you can actually see that the build plate was so small that I had to print this in two separate pieces in order to actually print this. And the quality is not the greatest. I actually tried to attempt to finish this, so I smoothed it out a bit. But it was still such an awesome, mesmerizing experience for me. What, almost five years ago now? That's absolutely crazy. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, almost five years ago. This is absolutely nuts. I I'm not gonna run through all like the history of all the printers I've, I've got my hands on and got to play around with over the years. But what I, I do want to touch on is just a few, few big milestones, one of which being a handful of years back, I was in New York City, I stopped by Press Reset Preston's uh, workshop space and he was introducing me into this little machine called the CR-10. As far as I'm aware, he was literally like the first person to find out about that machine and was testing it out and was like, dude, you gotta check this thing out. It's under 500 bucks, huge build volume, and I'm getting really good print results out of it. So after I got home, I immediately ordered one for myself and it's been nonstop printing on those machines from Creality ever since. And I feel like I've gotten my hands on a huge variety of those machines and it's just changed the way that I go about making props and printing things. Being able to print these highly detailed things in a large build volume is absolutely amazing. So one of the other machines that I am not gonna be able to lift up and show you guys here is my Raze 3D. This was provided over to me by the Raze 3D folks to just make some cool stuff and share it with you guys. And from day one, I've been in love with this machine. This is again, another one of these machines, but this is more, in my opinion, a bit more of a, a professional grade 3D printer. There's a lot of really amazing features baked into this machine. Not only does it look beautiful, but it prints absolutely stunning things almost a hundred percent of the time with zero issues that i run into on this machine and again it's just one of these things that i'm amazed to see has evolved from this was a you know supposed to be the plug and play printer from 2014 and it plug and played but it printed like crap now with folks like rays they are truly making plug and play machines that print amazing right out the get go. Um, it's just unbelievable. There's a, a lot of great integrated software involved with this. There's a huge touchscreen display, all wireless. They have cameras built into this now, which is really cool. Uh, just a lot of amazing features getting continually evolving and getting packed into these machines. And so over the last year or so, even more so over the last few months, you'll have noticed that I've 
been printing a lot with resin. This is something that gets me very excited. It reminds me back to this day, these days here, four or five years ago, when I first started 3D printing and being mesmerized by what these machines could do. It's the same thing that I'm getting, the same feeling I'm getting from these resin printers. And what's really cool is it's sort of combining a lot of these timelines that I've gone through where, yes, you're getting some amazing results. Uh, it was initially very expensive, which is sort of where I was with the, the MakerBot sort of things. And it was a, a really hard entry point for a lot of people. But now the cost of these machines have come down drastically. Quality has still maintained at a pretty decent level. And more importantly, the cost of resin have dropped down in price. When I first started printing on my FDM 3D printer with this MakerBot, I think I was spending $45 to $50 a roll for the MakerBot PLA. That's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. I pay, because I buy things in bulk. I think it comes up to like $12, something like that, when I buy my filament in bulk now. That's a huge difference in price. Plus we're seeing a huge, vast improvement in terms of filaments and options that are available. And now we're starting to see those same things come through on the resin side of things. Now, what's really interesting is this idea of larger resin 3D printers. So that's sort of the next wave that I'm hoping arrives now that the prices are coming down, quality is maintaining that someone's going to release a larger resin 3D printer that doesn't cost 10 grand. <laughs> Looking at you, Form Labs, but um, I, I, that, that's what really excites me. I'm looking to see what's next. How can this evolve even beyond where it's at today? And this to me is the next frontier, at least for now, in how things can progress. Sure, FDM printing is still gonna be a big part of this channel and everything that I'm doing. And I'm sure a lot of folks' lives here that are into 3D printing and prop making and cosplay making, but I'm super excited about the potential for larger resin 3D printers. The last thing I wanna do is just call out these awesome, absolutely awesome Batman bust files that I found from the Art of Polygon over on Gumroad that you can buy. I have links down below to these actual files. These were all printed on the Elgu Mars and the Elgu Gray resin, and the detail is just insane on these. And this is where I would love to be able to have a larger resin 3D printer to be able to get these results on a much larger scale. This is just some amazing, absolutely amazing print quality. Also, what's really cool about this is that the heads, you can swap them out. So here is the Affleck head. I have not removed the supports on this yet, but you can see where I could swap that in and out on this and it is pretty dang spectacular. What I'm basically trying to get at is this thing will always be evolving. This channel will always be evolving. I started with Xbox videos, slowly merged into 3D printing videos. Now I'm not shifting away from FDM, but I'm a huge focus. I'm loving resin 3D printing, but I'm sure I'll be doing lots of other things as well. I still love doing random other videos for you guys as well. Even if they don't get a lot of views, I don't care. I just like making stuff and sharing it with you guys. <laughs> but I just wanted to say thanks again for watching, you guys. I wanted to say, uh, again, thank you to everybody that's sharing your builds and projects with me online. If you're interested in being featured here along with some of these other awesome folks, make sure to tag me over on Instagram or Twitter with any of the projects that you work on, and I'll try to feature you here at the end of one of these weekly videos. I just want to say thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye now. Might not be next week. Maybe it's like the week after. Sometimes these things go for like a few weeks at a time. Have I mentioned it's so hot in this recording space? <laughs> I need to install like an air conditioner unit inside the window here. It's just hot. I've got pressures running. It's hot. It's summer. I'm sweaty. <laughs>